Hello Year 2 and welcome to your Friday Phonics session. For today's session you will need a piece of paper and something to write with, so a pen or a pencil. So please pause the video and collect these things now. Okay, so today we are going to be learning some new common exception words, but just to get our brains warmed up, we're going to think back to our learning about plurals over the last few days. On your screen, you can see a passage, and I'm going to read this passage out. But where there's a blank space, I am going to say the singular form of the noun, and I would like you to have a go at writing the plural form of the noun. Okay? You don't need to write out the whole sentence, you will just need to write down the four plural forms of the noun that I say in their singular form. Okay? Last week, I was at the park playing with four of my friend. So I've said friend, you need to write the plural form of friend. We all had a really good time. For my snack, I had a pot of berry. Okay, I've said berry, so you need to write down the plural form of berry. And my friend had two tasty fruit loaf. I've said loaf, you need to write down the plural form of loaf. After we had eaten our snacks, we noticed, noticed some beautiful butterfly flying around the park. I've said butterfly, so you need to have a go at writing the plural form of butterfly. Okay, I'm about to go over to the next page, which shows you the answers. If you're not quite ready, don't worry, you can wind back a little bit, you can pause the video and continue. So we should have friends written with an S. Last week I was at the park playing with four of my friends. We had a really good time. We should have berries, spelt I-E-S, and loaves, spelt V-E-S. For my snack, I had a pot of berries and my friend had two tasty fruit loaves. And then our final word should be butterflies, spelt I-E-S. After we had eaten our snacks, we noticed some beautiful butterflies flying around the park. OK, super. Let's get started then learning our new common exception words. OK, so hiding under this blue uh, box, I have got a word for you. And I've written a clue up here. And another clue is that you've been learning about this word in your maths learning this week. OK, so 60 minutes in a something and 24 something in a day. So, can we have a guess then? What do you think the word might be? The word is our. Fantastic. Now, some people, I say our, some people say are when it's spelt O-U-R, and that means it belongs to lots of people. But this is our as in time, okay? One hour of time. So, as we've done before, I'm going to hide the word again. And you are going to have 30 seconds to write the word hour as many times as you can. Get ready, go. Last five seconds, guys. <gasps> Stop. OK, so at the end of the session, it'd be great if I could see how many times you've managed to write each of these words in your 30 second challenge. OK, OK, so here's my next clue. An animal that is not in captivity might live in the... In the wild. Fantastic. OK, so here's our word wild, W-I-L-D. And it's a bit of a tricky one because it, this I letter is making the I sound wild. Normally that would make an I sound in a word, wouldn't it? OK, have a second to have a look at it. Check really carefully. Memorise it. I'm covering it up for you. Are you ready, guys? You've got 30 seconds. How many times can you write the word wild? Go.
last five seconds. Stop. Okay, good luck. I hope you've got lots and lots and lots of the word wild all over your page. Okay, let's have a look. The next clue says to get to the top of a mountain, you will need to... Hmm, how do you get to the top of a mountain? What do you think the word might be? The word is climb. Fantastic. Now, climb is tricky. It's also got that I sound, just like we noticed in wild, but it's got a silent B on the end. OK, we can't hear this B. We don't say climb, but we do have it written on the end. OK, so we say climb. But it's got that B on the end that we don't really hear. OK, again, get those little binoculars out. Have a second to study it. Make sure you're really confident. OK, I'm hiding it. Get ready. You've got 30 seconds, guys, as many times as you can. I want to see the word climb written. Go. Last five seconds. Stop. OK, I hope you've got lots of climb all over your page. OK, this is our last common exception word of the day. The opposite of least. The opposite of least. What do you think the opposite of least is, guys? Let's have a look. It's most, isn't it? M-O-S-T, most. OK, and again, this is tricky because this O oh here, this O, oh, this O letter, sorry, that normally makes the O oh sound, in most it's making an O sound, isn't it? OK, and that's what makes it tricky. OK, again, just give yourself a little second, have a look, get those binoculars out, make sure you're really confident with writing the word most. OK, I'm hiding it. You've got 30 seconds. Go. Last five seconds. And stop. OK, <gasps> I wonder who's got the most of the word most written on their paper. OK, so your challenge today is to create some cards with the common exception words and some cards with some clues about them to make your very own memory game. And then you can play with your family. OK, so I've given you a little example here. I've written a card here with the word climb. And then I've written a clue, squirrels do this up trees. So squirrels climb up trees. OK, so there's your challenge. I'll pop your challenge back on the screen for you. So it's up to you. You can make your clues anything you like, but you need to use these common exception words as your matching cards. You might choose to use some of our other common exception words that we've learned in previous weeks as well. But I would definitely like to see our wild climb and most on your matching cards. I hope you have a super day. Enjoy the game and I will see you very soon. Thanks for your hard work, you too. Bye.